rapidly rising rice prices great fears of famine a sharp rise in the price of rice is hitting consumer pocketbooks and raising fears of public turmoil in the parts of Asia and the many parts of Asia where rice is a staple food global supplies tumble sparking protests and hurting many aid agencies part of a surge in global food costs rice prices on world markets have jumped at least 50 percent in the past two months and at least doubled since 2004 experts blame rising fuel and fertilizer expenses as well as crops curtailed by disease, pests, global warming, climate change, and pestilence. Their concerns prices could rise at least another 40 percent in the coming months. The higher prices have already sparked protests in the Philippines where a government official has asked the public to save leftover rice in Cambodia, the Prime Minister has ordered a ban on rice exports to curb rising prices at home. And Vietnamese exporters and farmers are stockpiling rice in expectation of more price increases. And once again, the poorest are hit the hardest. The U.S. Department of Agriculture forecasts global rice stocks for 2007 to 08 at 72 million tons, the lowest since 1983 to 84, and about half of the peak in 2000 to 01. And now there's a lot more people than there was back in the 1980s which makes it even worse. A worldwide rice shortage. The higher prices are stretching the budgets of many aid agencies providing rice to North Korea and numerous other countries, particularly with donations already falling. Jack Dunford head of a consortium in Thailand helping more than 140,000 refugees from military ruled Myanmar, formerly Burma, said soaring rice prices and a slumping U.S. dollar or a falling U.S. dollar are forcing cuts in already meager food aid. This rice price increase is just killing us, he said. This is a very vulnerable group of people under threat. And China is among several countries in the region that subsidize rice prices, an increasingly expensive proposition. Rice prices have almost doubled or more in Bangladesh in just a year, sparking resentment. Repeated floods and a very severe cyclone last year have cut production forcing the government to increase imports and in Vietnam a major rice exporter the crop has been hit by a virus called Tungro and infestations of the brown plant hopper insect the rice price has gone up 50 percent over the past three months I'm not making any more money because I have to pay double for fertilizer, insecticides, and labor costs, said a farmer in Hate province, just outside Hanoi. Things are so tight that the agricultural secretary of Vietnam has asked people not to throw away leftover rice 
and urged fast food restaurants, which normally give customers a cup of rice with meals, to offer the half cup option to cut waste. And the Philippines is facing a perfect storm, said the president of the Liberal Party. Many problems coping with rising rice prices are compounded by higher oil prices and the U.S. economic downturn, a recession, which could reduce the money sent home to families by Filipinos working in the United States. The money underpins the economy there, just like it does in Mexico and many other countries. No, this is not good news. There are more signs of end times, last days, and there are many. A shortage of rice around the world. All the food prices, food prices are going up rapidly worldwide. And of course, as always, the poorest people in the world get hit the hardest first. But everything is connected. Yes, more signs.